everyone and welcome back to Slime Rancher! And we are here having finally cleared out that pin din of Largos that was causing a lot of uh, dangerous risks for our precious Royal Majesty Honeymint, who is currently frolicking around his beautiful mint mango trees, uh, surrounded by his many, many loyal followers of the Hen Hens of our Hen Hen Rescue Center and Sanctuary, I should say. It's not really a rescue center, it's more just a sanctuary until they become elders and um, have to help pay their dues by helping us out with some of our hunter tabbies and largos. But that being said, he's safe and playing with a mint mango. Gosh, he's just so cute. And I'm so relieved because having all of these largos over here, especially when they kept escaping and sending all of their random plorts over the place, truly was giving me gray hairs. And now he is going to be safe and we can turn all of this into proper farming area. And now that we have got this uh, cleared up, we can actually go ahead and we're going to spend today gathering up all of these beautiful plorts that were left behind from when we did have the largos out in these corrals. We're going to sell them and we're going to get slime toys. I'm so excited excited you guys farming and slime toys doesn't that just sound like the best kind of day to have also i noticed something oh hello elder hmm i noticed that this briar hen has been stuck there for a while so i'm gonna go ahead and free it so that the poor thing doesn't have to be jammed in anymore and we need to start off our day by clearing out the very last of the plorts inside the plort collectors because that's the last oh there's a hundred <laughs> That's the last piece of the puzzle I needed before we would be able to tear those down and then build in. I'm just going to put a refinery link and put all the pink plorts in there. But tear these down and then build in a garden. Because I don't want to demolish them and then waste all of these plorts. Because you waste not, want not. Let's see. Let's gather up a few more. Carefully collect any that fall on the ground. I think I'll keep the rad plorts. I don't know how many rad plorts I actually have in the slime science shed. It's been so long since we've been able to go over there. We have toys to buy. We have cool new club upgrades and perks to be part of. Why would we be worried about like actually doing proper science um, for a little while? I, I have to buy toys. Toys and then we can go back to work in the science shed because I do have a lot that I still need to experiment and build with over there, including a lot of really cool decorations for our slimes. All right, let's gather these up and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the pink plorts in here. Kind of nice the refinery link is just so easily available that way. Looks like we have another fresh harvest of odd onions and carrots to collect. Oh my gosh, there's so many pink plorts. <laughs> oh my goodness, and the oka oka are ready to go too. Yes, that nutrient soil really helps out. But farming really is the better way to go when it comes to um, taking care of our slimes. I really did used to just focus the entire time on gathering up food from the wild to feed our slimes, but that is not efficient enough anymore. We need to work on a larger scale, and that means having some proper farm plots. And I can't wait to go and see our waterfall again and be able to see how our puddle slimes are doing. I think they'll calm down once we get them a rubber ducky. They're kind of mad because there's so many other puddle slimes at the moment. All right, let's go ahead and take out these rock plorts. I think they're selling pretty well, so I may go ahead. Let's see, did I get all of them? Yeah. I'll just drop a few in the refinery link and then sell the rest. All right, there's some rock plorts. And then I'm going to toss all the pink plorts in because we always need more pink plorts when it comes to our refinery. All right, <laughs> did you see that poor, <laughs> that poor hen hen? I didn't mean to just like send you flying, little one. <laughs> Who knows? Look at her flapper wings. Maybe flying is what she truly wishes she could be doing anyway. All right, a few more of these pieces. Voila! All right, now I can get a little heartbeat garden up and going. We're gonna demolish the plot, and in its place, we are going to build a brand new beautiful garden. I don't think we need to add in a scare slime. And heartbeats, there we go. So now the only thing we're really missing is either more mint mango trees, or I actually wanna put in some pogo fruit over here. Uh, let me think, we have a whole bunch of slimes. We've actually got quite a wide variety of slimes, but does anybody like the pogo fruit? Like, is that any slime's particular favorite? Veggies, odd onion, phase lemons, if you have quantum slimes. Uh, and everybody else, I guess the pogo fruit is actually not a favorite of any of the slimes. So I'll grow some more cuberries back here instead. That sounds like a good idea. All right, we can gather up these pieces. There we go. Wonderful, look at us go guys. I'm so proud. <laughs> We're actually ranching and farming and sliming the way we should be doing. Uh, or, well, I guess, you know, we can do whatever we want. This is our ranch after all. But it was kind of embarrassing the other day. I felt a little bit silly. How's Honeymint doing? Nice and safe. Very happy to see that. 
when I glanced over at the Twitter, the official Twitter where you can get oh so many wonderful updates about what's going to be happening here in Slime Rancher. And they had a poll asking people how much money they had and the options began in the millions. Not just like a thousand like me, I have 4,000 monies right now, but the options started in the millions and built their way up and I was so embarrassed. I was like, wait a second, I know everyone has been playing Slime Rancher for a while, why am I so broke? <laughs> so that was, that was kind of funny. All right, Honeyman's doing well, we've got some mint mingos to collect and we've got enough money! Yes, we've got enough money, you guys! Okay, Slime Toys! Slime toys it is! We're just gonna have to constantly harvest up this food and remember to store excess food into the silos from now on so that we'll have it available. Oh, and I forgot to plant my last plot. Okay, let's go take this Oka Oka. Maybe somebody is hungry back here and needs to eat it. And I know I have Q-berries back here. So, or is that a pogo fruit? Oh man, it's pogo fruit! I need Q-berries, not pogo fruit. All right, let's see. You guys are hungry and you eat veggies, so I'll go ahead and toss these in here for you. And then I'll gather up all these pogo fruits. And I guess I'll just have to keep my eyes out for a Q-berry then. There we go, pogo fruits. And I'm gonna feed them to the Phosphor Largos. There we go. That should hopefully help them out. And how's the Phosphor Largo tank? Oh, it's almost full. All right, we gotta drain a little off the top here and then we can head back over and buy the slime toys. Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder if Honeyman would have something he'd really wanna play with. All right, a couple more. There we go. And I'll sell these. Uh, I guess I might as well drain some off the top here too. Just to make sure. All right, there we go. That we don't have an overflow situation going on. There, and then these guys I'm gonna set free in just a little bit because we actually don't need to have more honey have or more honey slimes, I'm pretty sure. We can get a ton of them from the ones that we have in our apiary, our free range slimes. All right, more money, yes, all right. Maybe I'll be able to work my way up into the millions like all of the people who said they're like, yeah, I've got like 15 million uh, new bucks. I don't really have anything to spend it on. And then I'm down here, not even with 10,000. All right, so let's wiggle inside. We do have a star mail. Pet cactus, huh? My pet cactus from Casey. Hey, B, I brought a cactus from you, sort of. When I went back home, uh, when I came back home, it was one of the only things left in your shop. Was a lonely little guy, so I decided to adopt it. You know I'd kill every plant- uh, you know I kill every plant I touch, but I promise you this one will last. I mean, if I can't keep a cactus alive, then clearly something's really wrong. When I look at it, I think of you out there on the range doing your thing. Hope you're doing okay. From Casey. Oh, that's so cool! I wonder if I ran some sort of like little plant shop before I came here. That actually really does sound like me. But all right, so <gasps> the rolling beetle. We're about to rank up you guys and get slime toys. Ah, I did it. 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 And there's really cool new colors we can work on. So where are the slime toys? Slime enrichment devices now on sale. Miss Libidou, the Z Seven Z Corporation would like to congratulate you on obtaining the rank of Rolling Beetle One. With this rank, you now have access to a revolutionary new technology for slime enrichment and preoccupation from activities that would otherwise hinder ranching. Will you call this new technology slime toys? Slime toys can be purchased from your ranch. We have uh, from the shop. Uh, we have just installed on your ranch. Please excuse the excessive pauses in the last sentence, but our technician drones may have needed extra time for the installation, and we did not wish for our claim to be inaccurate. The 7Z Corporation, giving robots time to do their job right, one sentence at a time. Oh my gosh, that's so adorable. <laughs> to the ranch! Where's the shop? <gasps> There's another star mail, or maybe it was the one I just read? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? What? Did I just get an upgrade to my house? Hello? Hello, hello? Chroma packs. Was that always there? All right, where's the shop? 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 I wanna be able to buy slime toys. Uh, let's see. And this is just gonna be the port market, explaining everything to me about that. <gasps> Honey Mint! Where are you going, darling? Are you saying that the shop is down here, perhaps? Oh my gosh. Honey Mint! Where are you going, my dear? You need to stay over here. Here, let's put him on his little, his little, um, there we go, his little stage. 
There! That's the way things should be. Okay, so is it inside my house? Is it over here? Let's see. Water packs. Let's see. Let's see. I have a feeling it should be like right under my... What the heck? <gasps> there it is! You guys! Look at how cute this is! Oh my gosh! This is adorable! It has little Rubik's Cubes and beach balls and there's the duckies! Wait, do I need money? I need money for the slime toys, don't I? I do need money for the slime toys. Look at all of these things. A beach ball reduces agitation of nearby slimes, especially pink slimes who enjoy fun in the sun. A big rock reduces agitation of nearby slimes, especially rock slimes who obviously don't understand toys. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to try these out. Yarn ball reduces agitation of nearby slimes, especially tabby slimes, though they still don't know how to knit any more than other slimes. Oh my gosh. Nightlight that helps out the phosphor slimes, who are just as spooked by the dark as the rest of us. Power cells for the rad slimes, who like to live dangerously. The bomb balls, who is, are very happy to have uh, something fun like this. The buzzy bee. This is what I really wanted. Reduce agitation of nearby slimes, especially honey slimes who are sweet on honeybees and the rubber duckies. <gasps> you guys, we've got to do this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, which ones? Okay, I'm going to buy... Oh, how many? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do with this? Honey mint? Honey mint? What do you think? Do you like your new toy? Oh my goodness. I need it to be day. I want to be able to see this in the day. Sleep until morning. This is so exciting. Honey Mint, what do you think, buddy? You have your very own little toy. Look at it. It makes little squeaky noises. There you go, Honey Mint. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so tickled. This is... Ah, he's playing with it. I love you too, honey mate. Oh, toys for toys for his majesty. Oh, he's playing with it. Every time he bumps into it or Hen Hen bumps into it, it makes a little noise. That's so cute. Oh, I can't I can't handle this. This is too much. Okay, I want to get a good look at this. Maybe in a sunnier spot. It's so cute, you guys. This is so ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. I need more toys for honey mint. All right, let's put it down here. Maybe that'll make him really happy. What do you think, Honey Mint? Are you happy? Am I gonna get a head boop? Oh, he does look like he's just tickled. Yep, I would say that his royal majesty is his royal majesty is pretty happy. Or maybe I'm just projecting onto my adorable little slime. But Ah oh, no, look, you really went after the toy! <gasps> okay, now I'm very, very, very content with life. This is this is wonderful. This is really all I could ask for. Uh, I need to get more of those. Let's gather up our morning harvest of these mint mangoes, though, so I can feed everybody. Oh, and he made the little happy sound. <gasps> okay, I definitely need to get more of those. So let's get a couple of the buzzy bees, and we'll put those down for honey mint. And then I need to grab, let's see. I kind of want to grab those rubber duckies. Ah, hen hens. <laughs> I care about all of you. That's why we have this sanctuary. But truly, be careful. I'm trying to I'm trying to gather up Honey Mint's little plorts to sell. So let's get another one. Ah, he's playing with it. And then he gets on this little slime stage. This is so cool. Let's get some more of these honeybees today, I think. And then I'm going to put a few of them in with our apiary as well. And I think it is probably about time for us to release or think about releasing those um, hunter... We have some hunter honey largos who are inside of the apiary too. And now that we have a reliable source of hunter plorts coming from within the cave system, I think that that's playing a little bit too much with fire and we probably don't want to keep those guys anymore. All right, let's go ahead and gather up all these heartbeats. We have a few of our wonderful slimes who would actually enjoy having some vegetables. There we go, there we go. A little off the top, a little off the top, there we go. And we're going to go ahead and let these guys go by. I still need to find some cuberries to plant over there. Man, the harvests are going really well, actually. Stony hens! I'm trying to gather up the carrots here. All right. A little bit of a vegetable stew whirlwind once more with hen hens on the side. Am I even gathering up the carrots with all of these guys here? It'd be nice if you could put in a little gate to be able to keep... Oh, there's just hen hens flying down. That's so hilarious. It'd be nice if you could put up a little gate to keep them from getting a little over eager. 
But let's pop in. Um, I'm gonna drop off the odd onions and the heartbeats just to make sure. Whose favorite thing? I think these guys' favorite thing is odd onion. Is it? Yeah, it is. All right, so we'll toss some of these in here. Just want to make sure that they have their food topped off so we don't have anybody trying to escape on me. Throw in the heartbeats. And we still need to crown one of these beautiful, glorious slimes to make sure that um, there's plenty of royalty going on here. We'll feed you guys some carrots. I hope I won't regret that. You guys will eat everything. So let's see, chuck some mangoes in here. Hang on. Okay, they're they're actually in a happy mood. They're just aggressively happy. Oh, one of them's cranky. There we go. There, see, we're doing so much better on our ranching and taking care of our slimes. I'm so proud. And I've actually still, I'm still debating on where we should move the treasure. I sort of moved my little pile of extra treasure back here for now, but I really feel like maybe it should go in some different areas. Like what if we built some sort of tree, like a decorative tree or something that we could gather up all of the, the extra little harvested resources in. And let's see, I do feel like I need to put down um, uh, let's put down the pump back here for now. Why not? Just to have something going on that I could double check on when we're checking in on these little guys. Let me gather up the crystals. I'm doing a much better job at remembering to collect these pieces so that we can sell. Here I am complaining about not being a millionaire like all the other people <laughs> who were reporting in on their slime rancher cash. But I haven't even taken the time to really gather up all the resources as I should, so. See, if you don't put the effort in, then you shouldn't whine about it. All right, we'll gather up the crystal plorks too. These are so pretty, oh my gosh. Almost there, and let me gather up a couple of these pieces and one of these. Very nice, very nice. Wonderful, look, see, in we go, come back out. This is much more efficient, and I feel like I'm taking good care of everybody still too. So it's not like we're turning into some sort of like factory farm that's not looking out for the well-being of the slimes that we take care of. And speaking of their well-being, now that we can chuck a whole bunch of these pieces in, make some money, let's get some more toys. I wanna get some more of those adorable little, little bee toys. <gasps> can you imagine just filling an entire corral full of nothing but slime toys. That would be so cute. All right, let's get another one of the buzzy bees. There we go. Or maybe, actually, maybe his Royal Majesty Honeymint wouldn't just want a buzzy bee. Maybe his Royal Majesty Honeymint would also actually want, uh, now that I think about it, ooh, and actually the buzzy bee right here would be cute. And a little, a little flower pile. But maybe Honeymint would also like to have a yarn ball. I didn't even think about that. That might be kind of cool. Hey, can I, can I move you just a teeny bit? Oh, it's so cute, guys. <laughs> Look, it's just rolling around. Oh, if Honeymint won't play with it, I will. I could get so addicted to just toying with this toy. It's so cute. All right, there you go, Honeymint. I hope you'll enjoy. It's definitely something that took a little bit of a effort to get, but it was well worth it. All right, stay over here. If I have to, I'll put you on your little slime stage, but let's get some of those yarn balls too, because I think a yarn ball might be fun for Honeymint as well. All right, and then here we go, a yarn ball. That's so cute! I love it! I think that he'll be so happy. Wonderful, if, like, it's really fun to have decoration things we can do that with too. All right, let's grab a buzzy bee. And I'm going to take it back to the uh, honey tabby largos that we have in our big apiary, our free range apiary. Hi guys, I've got you toys. All right, chuck it over here. Let's see what they do with it. Oh my gosh, they're all crowding around it. I think they like it guys. Yes, and cuberries. I need to plant another garden of those. All right, we'll get, we'll check on the garden over here. Mint mango supply is getting a little bit low. Definitely want to make sure that we continue our mint mango harvest. Oh, I'm so proud. We really truly are doing a better job of taking care of our slimes. And the ones who are super hungry, we can just like zip around, make sure that we're tossing in some extra bits. All right, let's see, get a pogo fruit out. Get all of these pieces in. There we go, there we go. All right, gather up these pieces. Oh, I hear them playing with it. The squeaky, 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 squeaky. Do you hear it? Oh, they're so cute. I'm so happy. And this guy's in a bad mood, so let's feed him. Are you stuck, my friend? Good, all right. So our free range slimes are doing well. 
Man, all of these extra little features, being able to bring in some more food for our slimes, being able to take care of them by putting down some toys. This is just making my heart so happy. This is fantastic. All right, and these guys are in a bad mood, but let's make sure to feed some of them. And then I'll work on getting those guys out uh, pretty soon here too. Oh my gosh, look at all of this. Man, maybe there's really something to the idea of actually having some of the corrals. What do you mean? Did I accidentally feed one of you the wrong thing? Stunned, shocked silence. Did a tabby plort fall in there? You guys, I gotta get these hunters out of here. I'm gonna gather up these plorts very carefully. Oh, oh fudge. Oh fudge to the knuckles. Oh fudge. Um. Oh my goodness. I've got to get them out of here. Oh, that was that was heart pounding. Just one accidental innocent drop of a plort and you have no idea what a bomb it's like having in your house. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at him. He's got toys. He's got a little yarn ball over here now. <laughs> Oh, this is precious. All right. So we definitely are going to be spending a lot more money giving pretty much everybody toys. I think the bomb group that we have, the rad, um, the rad boom largos would definitely love to play with some bombs though giving a rad boom largo some bombs sounds like a little bit of a dangerous proposition we still need to figure out what color i want to turn our tech and what color i want to turn our house and our backpack and all of that i finally got some cube berries so oof, walk right into a fence let's get this area set up for a garden Add nutrient soil and a sprinkler. There we go. And then get some cuberries down. Wonderful, wonderful. Have to gather up these oka okas as soon as I can. Um, oh, goodness. Good. And the heartbeats are growing. <laughs> We're doing it! I don't think I have ever been so on top of things and organized and really starting to sort out and be able to more or less properly take care of the majority of our slimes. Hopefully soon to be all of our slimes so well ever before. And we're building up our funds at a really great pace so we can get more toys for our slimes. And we can also hopefully work on getting more of the seven Z Club expansions. I'm tickled. I'm tickled and very happy. So things are working out wonderfully. We've got a bit more work to do here on the ranch and hopefully we'll be able to start traveling and going back over to the new overgrowth dock area and over to the actual uh, ruins and do some more exploring for some special things in the ruins pretty soon too. But whew, I'm going to catch my breath, see if I need to feed any slimes and figure out what our next project is going to be. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.